Hi, Christine, the Rady Kitchen, and I have a neat idea for Valentine's Day. It's a fruit bouquet. You don't have to spend a lot of money. These are easy to make in your own kitchen, and your receiver will appreciate it. One I'm going to make is called Sweet Kisses, and there are quite a few recipes and uh, full color pictures on how to make all these fruit bouquets. So let's get started. So you begin by slicing a pineapple sideways into three quarter inch to one inch slices. So I'm gonna cut the end off first. That's really no use. Just gonna cut down. I'm using this Rada slicer. It's really sharp. Not only works well on fruits and vegetables, it's really great to slice up roasts, ribeyes. All right, so now we have our pineapple disc. And we're gonna take one of these and with a heart-shaped cookie cutter. Now the metal ones work best. Here I have quite a few different sizes. And you're gonna push that down um, so the core of the pineapple is in the middle of your cookie cutter. If you have to take a little mallet, you might have to do that too. This pineapple is a little green, so it's a little harder to get through. But you can tell when you're through because it'll kind of make a crunchy noise. And I'm just gonna flip it over to the other side. And then you push it out. So you'll have to do, I'm going to do a different size too. So each disc you can make a pineapple heart. And usually you can kind of see where that was so you can go back on the other side and push it through. And there's a little bigger one. So you should end up with about eight pineapple hearts. We're gonna set those aside. And now we're gonna make our strawberry buds. You want to rinse the strawberries under cool water and then dry, dry gently with paper towel. And you want kind of all the same size, like large full strawberries, kind of similar size. If you want to remove the stems, you can. I They're probably harder to eat, but I personally kind of like the stems. I kind of ruffle them up like that. Okay. Now, with the pointed end of a skewer, you push that into the strawberry, and you want to stop before it, it goes through. And if you need to put them in the refrigerator, you can. And if you want, you can even put a couple of them on one. Maybe for the taller center 
part of the arrangement. Now we're going to assemble it into our vase. Um, I have a couple different sizes here. I'm going to use this one just so you can see um, easier what it's what I'm going to do with it. What I'm going to do is take a head of lettuce and that's what we're, the skewers are going to poke into. So we have to trim this down to fit into that. So it, it's more or less an edible, all around edible display. And this is just a head of iceberg lettuce. If you have a really tall vase, you might have to put, um, crumble some paper up in the bottom of it to take up space. All right. So now we've skewered our strawberries and then you just need to do the pineapple. You want to stop once it hits that core, that's what's going to hold it on the stick. And you want to use the pointed side of the skewer that's going to go in there. So now you just place these through the lettuce. If you have to break the sticks, that's easy to do. Just break them off if you want different heights. And again, you don't want the stick to poke all the way through the hearts. And now to save time, I'm going to show how you just start filling in your little strawberry buds. So now we're going to add the final touch by garnishing the bouquet with these Hershey Kiss Blossoms. These are the caramel filled one. And you just want to make sure you take the pointed end of the skewer and poke it halfway into there. Again, if you have to break the stick for different heights. You could also use um, the cherry cordials, um, peanut butter kisses. Actually, any kiss will work. I just like these because they had the pink. Another idea, and I have another video on how to make it. You could put in some chocolate covered strawberries for a little extra sweetness. I have another video where I show how to dip these. So check out my videos on YouTube or on our website. And this is our Sweet Kisses Fruit Bouquet, perfect for Valentine's or any occasion you want to make somebody feel special. It's just one of the delicious designs featured in our Fruit Bouquet Cookbook.